you look at General Jack Pershing, who was the hero of Europe, you can see that, that he is held as an idol, as an icon of World War I. Of course, he went on to be victorious in everything it, that he touched. He was a general at heart. He was a hell of a leader. Uh, he was a visionary. He was astute. He was smart. He had street smarts. He had faith. The adversity he fought through, the sacrifice he had, um, again, that love affair for soldiers. So if there ever was a soldier, soldier um, had to have been uh, General Pershing. Oh, my own husband. Five weeks today since our little daughter was born, and you are away out on the ocean, almost in America. And little daughter and I are here in Japan. What strange pranks fortune plays with us. My dearest wife, my, oh my, I want you so. I can't wait to find out whether I'm going on leave. I hope I may. Love, Jack Boy. Dear boy, how dear it was of you to say to my friend, tell her my last thought was of her. Oh, it has been so sweet to think of it. It has brought the little tears to my eyes, too. Sweetheart mine, I've been out all day, and it's so late, except that I'm falling deeper and deeper in love with you every minute. Oh, sweetheart, it's such a wonderful thing to love you and to know you love me. Darling, you are the sweetest, dearest, dearest, dearest in all the world. Hello? Lieutenant Collins, I have some more news on the Presidio fire. Fire? What fire? What has happened? Oh my goodness. General Pershing, I... The Associated Press in San Francisco reports that there has been a fire at the Presidio which has destroyed the Pershing... Well, that is your residence, sir. Except for your son Warren, sir. Your whole family has died. Oh my God. You have my most sincere condolences, sir. Goodbye, sir. I'm so sorry. Wait a minute. Who is this? Who am I speaking to? My name is Norman Walker. Thank you, Walker. It was most considerate of you to phone. The memory of her and her little daughters will always be The Philippine cherished. Islands are shocked and deeply sorry. At a time like this, we wish you to know that the hands of your friends are stretched out with our hearts full of no grief. No words of mine can soothe or make lighter the heavy cross you I am most bear. heartily ashamed of myself and almost ashamed to write to a you sorrow in this late day. which must be suffered alone in your heart. I'm inexpressibly hearts. shocked and grieved. Pray accept my deep and I heartfelt sympathy. send my most sympathy. sincere sympathy to the great General John Pershing. The president has directed that an armed force led by Brigadier General John Pershing be sent into Mexico with the sole object of capturing Francisco Pancho Villa and preventing any further raids against U.S. border cities by his band. We had not captured Villa, to be sure, as we'd hoped to do, but when active pursuit stopped, we had broken up and scattered his band, which was our original mission. It is a fearful thing to lead this great peaceful people into war, but the right is more precious than peace, and we shall fight for the things which we have always carried nearest our hearts, for democracy. Dear Mr. President, as an officer of the Army, may I not extend to you as Commander-in-Chief of the Armies my sincere congratulations upon your soul-stirring patriotic address to Congress on April 2nd. Your strong stand for the right will be an inspiration to humanity everywhere. Dear General Pershing, you are to organize four regiments of infantry and one of artillery from forces you now command in the Southwest. If plans are carried out, you will be in command of the entire force. The enemy has capitulated. It is fitting that I address myself in thanks directly to the more than two million officers and soldiers of the American Expeditionary Forces who by their heroic efforts have made possible this glorious result. Our armies, hurriedly raised and hastily trained, met a veteran enemy and by courage, discipline and skill always defeated him. Without complaint, you have endured incessant toil, privation and danger. You have seen many of your comrades make the supreme sacrifice that freedom may live. I thank you for the patience and courage with which you have endured. 
I congratulate you upon the splendid fruits of victory, which your heroism and the blood of our gallant dead are now presenting to our nation. Your deeds will live forever on the most glorious pages of America's history. Please find out how you can play an essential role in telling this great and wonderful story.